Bristol has a problem. It's got 54,000 students, but not enough space to put them all up. Sir Hale nearly gave up a postgraduate place because he couldn't find anywhere to live. At one stage, he seriously considered commuting from his home in Amsterdam. It's so demoralizing to all the time being rejected just because you're a student, just because I'm like a 25 years old or just because I'm an international student. Uh, it just, it just, it just crazy. Sahel has now been given a bedsit costing £890 a month in the centre of the city. At least he's found somewhere. So I'm at London, Victoria now. After weeks of looking, Anita couldn't find anywhere to live. So she's staying with family in London and commuting by coach, making her own video diaries on the way. I don't think there's enough space. And I think the university knows that. And I feel like they should specifically tell students how hard it is because I feel like that they haven't done that. The National Union of Students told us universities are not doing enough to ensure all their students have access to affordable, safe and decent accommodation from the start. And this is simply unacceptable. Really, like, what are students for the university? It's income. All across the country we've seen that universities have been taking in more and more students to make more and more profit and money, unfortunately. Bristol University say they believe the information they're giving to students about the accommodation situation is clear and that it's only a relatively small number of people here who've been affected. Universities say they've been working hard over summer to help students find the accommodation that they need. But there are plenty of people, especially here in Bristol, who feel let down and say the situation risks affecting their studies and their mental health. Struggling to find somewhere to live at such an important time could knock a potentially successful education off course. Nick Wallace, 5 News, Bristol.